Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Amy from Capacity. And today we're gonna to talk with one of our partner photographers, Hamoudi from Hamburg. Hamoudi, I'm happy to see you here. Um, today we're gonna to take a closer look at some 3D content creation tips. First, can you tell us about your experience as a photographer and your studio? Hello, Amy, nice talking to you. Uh, so I am a product photographer uh, based in Hamburg, Germany. I have my studio located uh, in the airport area of Hamburg. I do basically my main area of expertise basically is uh, product uh, photography and videography. But uh, from time to time I uh, make uh, real estate and uh, uh, food photography as well. And recently I got into drones, especially FPV, which is amazing. I simply love it. Great. So you work on both product and video shoots? Uh, yeah, I do mainly product photography and videography, but I did a lot of uh, photo shoots with models and jewelry as well. And um, I want to try something unique in my opinion is uh, to shoot a room, basically my studio, uh, and generate a 360 representation. Basically, you put the camera in the middle and uh, make it spin instead of the product, which is a unique perspective, I think. Yeah, I think that would definitely look really interesting. Um, it's great that you're always trying something new. Can you share with us what equipment you normally use for shooting? Yeah, so uh, basically I use 4K capable cameras uh, like the Nikon D850 and the Nikon Z62 because it gives you uh, the ability to zoom in the product and see uh, details in much, uh, much larger, basically. And uh, for the lightings, I use a different uh, brands of lightings, but mainly they have a bounce mount because I uh, use many modifiers uh, in my shooting, uh, mainly soft boxes, and I use grids to uh, concentrate the lights on a, a specific part of the product to highlight a specific feature of the product. And of course, turntables. I use uh, different sizes of uh, turn turntables, uh, smaller one for uh, smaller products like uh, jewelry and watches, and uh, bigger ones for uh, much larger products or even people as well. And I use uh, black cards, which are very important uh, to block uh, some light of hitting the product especially for uh, white uh, products because if you don't uh, use uh, black cards the product is simply lost in the background and you don't want this that's amazing you have a really high quality studio set up um yeah, thank can you, you please <laughs> can you please share your experience about working with your customers what's important to them um when they hire you for a 3d photo shoot yeah, uh, the customer's uh, main concern is to have a product or a 360 view of the product uh, that is clear in focus and the ability to uh, zoom in uh, and see uh, different uh, uh, features of the product in uh, much bigger detail. Um, what do you like the most about using capacity solution? So the traditional uh, way of shooting, of making a 360 view is to make a lot of pictures and uh, stitch uh, them together in a similar software and uh, generate a final uh, 360 uh, view. But in capacity, you can still do this, which is good, but I love the second approach and this is the to make the uh, video, a video of the product and uh, import the video in the capacity software and uh, may generate the um, uh, final result. In this way, you uh, save a lot of time, which uh, for me is important. And uh, the second thing that I love about the software is the ability to 
uh, do some changes, some uh, modifications uh, like uh, brightness, uh, contrast, uh, white balance directly into Capacity software and uh, not having to import the file into a third party software, which this is a big plus for me. It's time saving, basically. Amazing. We're really happy you enjoy using the solution. Do you have any funny stories about product shooting process? Uh, yeah, I uh, had a um, product, uh, ski boots to shoot, and I wanted to shoot them on a black background. And I wanted to hang the product uh, and the turntable above. Uh, so not having the turntable from uh, uh, under the product. And I made uh, a rig to hang the product. It took me about two days to do this. And after uh, when I was shooting all the rig fold and the product and the turntable fold because it was not secured enough. The second time it was way over engineered, but uh, it it did the job. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's funny. But live and learn. Um, I've looked at your website and you have some amazing examples of three D views. Um, what advice would you give to people who want to try three D shooting, but they're maybe a little nervous or hesitant? So basically, uh, um, at first, it, it is a little bit intimidating because it's a new software and a new uh, thing to do. But simply try it. It's not it's not uh, hard at all. Uh, you can still do it uh, with uh, basic equipment like uh, a camera and uh, two lights mainly. Uh, when I started, I had a camera that uh, it couldn't uh, shoot 4K and I had uh, a tripod and two lights and I still uh, managed to do the shot uh, and get amazing results. And I have some tips for uh, you guys that want to try it. Uh, use a plexiglass, uh, shiny, uh, not shiny, uh, reflective plexiglass or a mirror and light the back background. And this way you have a perfect uh, uh background surface under the uh, product that is white because it's reflecting the background uh use light the background first and after look what uh, you need more for what lights you need more for the product and use mirrors to reflect uh, the light from the background and highlight uh, different parts of the product and this is this one is important use black art as mentioned uh, before to block some lights uh, of hitting uh, the product because sometimes we uh, need less light on the product in each areas and this is good but simply try it and you will not uh, you will be happy with the results thank you so much um, those are some very helpful tips and i'm sure our audience will agree Moody, thank you for participating in the interview thank today you. and sharing your experience of 3D content creation with Capacity Solution. And thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned and keep following on our social media accounts. Bye. Thank you. Bye.